Hello grade 10 children, welcome to our English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 8 of your grade 10 textbook. Today we are going to practice writing. We are going to learn how to describe a chart correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, we have done a lesson on how to interpret charts in unit 7. It was lesson 1 in unit 7. In that lesson, we learned how to study a chart and understand the information presented in detail. If you missed the lesson, I recommend you to subscribe to our channel and watch it as this lesson is a continuation of the previous one. As I explained in my previous lesson, a chart is a graphical representation of data. It is also called a graph. So, in a chart, data is represented in a visual form. There are different ways to represent data visually. You are already familiar with these three types. Bar chart, pie chart and line chart. Children, in our previous lesson, we learned only to interpret charts. In this lesson, let's learn to write a paragraph describing charts. Now let's interpret the information in this bar chart and then we'll write a description on it. This bar chart depicts the activities students do to improve their English. In the chart, the horizontal axis represents the activities while the vertical axis represents the number of students who engage in these activities. According to the bar chart, there are five activities that students do to improve their English. They are reading, listening to music, watching movies, speaking in English with their friends and writing diary entries. As you can see out of the given activities, most of the students engage in reading to improve their English. The number of students who like reading is 20. The number of students who like listening to music is more than the number of students who like watching movies. An equal number of students like watching movies and speaking in English with friends. This number is 10. The least number of students like writing diary entries. Only five students like it. Okay, this is how you interpret the information in a chart. Next, we will learn how to present this information in a well-written paragraph. Now, let's learn some language structures needed to describe a chart. We can begin the description using one of these structures. This bar chart shows. This bar chart depicts. Or this bar chart illustrates. What a chart shows is most of the time given as the chart title. If the chart title is not there, you have to study the chart and understand what it shows. In the chart we saw earlier in this lesson, the chart title is Activities Students Do to Improve Their English. We can write our first sentence describing the chart like this. This bar chart shows activities students do to improve their English. You can practice how to write the first sentence using this substitution table. Pause the video and practice now. Let's see some sample sentences you can write. This bar chart depicts favorite hobbies of a group of students. This pie chart illustrates different modes of transport students use. This line chart illustrates the annual rainfall in Colombo district. Ok children. Now let's learn how to introduce the horizontal axis and the vertical axis of a chart. We can do it like this. 
the vertical axis shows or the horizontal axis represents you can write shows or represents as the verb so with regard to the chart we are studying we can write the horizontal axis represents the activities the vertical axis represents the number of students who engage in these activities next you can write an overall description like this you have to first give the number of activities in the chart and then name what they are look at this example the number of activities according to the bar chart there are five activities that students do to improve their english and then what they are they are reading listening to music watching movies speaking in english with friends and writing diary entries now let's see how you can write about each bar or slice in a chart the most number of or majority of the students like reading the number of students who like reading is 20 the least number of students like writing diary entries here you have to remember these two phrases the most number of or majority of and the least number of in some situations you will have to write the highest percentage of or the lowest percentage of next you can compare two bars or two slices in a chart let's compare bars in this graph look at the two bars for listening to music and watching movies the number of uh, students who like listening to music is more than the number of students who like watching movies the number of students who like watching movies is less than the number of students who like listening to music there's one more phrase you have to learn look at the numbers for watching movies and speaking in english with friends you have the same number of students this is how you describe that an equal number of students like watching movies and speaking in english with friends okay children i hope now you are clear about the structures and phrases needed to describe charts children now you are going to practice what you have learned you are going to describe a chart as describing charts is a common question at the o level exam let's try a question from the 2019 o level paper this is the question you have to study this pie chart and write a description of it you can pause the video and write now let's check what you have written you can compare your description with this sample answer this pie chart shows how mr pereira spent his salary in the month of july 2019 on various household needs he spent his salary on food education clothes savings transport electricity and other minor needs he spent 25% of his salary on food and 22% on education an equal percentage of his salary was spent on savings and clothes while he spent 12% of his salary on transport 8% was spent on electricity but only 3% on other minor needs according to this pie chart he spent the highest percentage of his salary on food and the lowest on other minor needs
hope you could write it correctly but don't think you have to write exactly like this sample you can write simple sentences describing the chart like i taught you but you have to do it in an organized way you can start describing what it is about and then talk about different slices okay children that marks the end of the lesson in this lesson we practiced how to describe charts I hope it's useful to you. Let's meet again with more lessons. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye till we meet again.